Hi guys, it's Mino. Welcome back. Uh, we have been doing our spun out series with our gigantic spinner that HOA has built for us. And there is one more that I really, really want to recreate and do again, and that's Dreamcatcher. And we're going to be using a little bit of a different palette, not so much the the turquoise and the pistachio this time, but we're going to be using a different palette, which I'm going to show you right now. So this is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas. We have taped the back and put our giant push pins in. I will link them for you in the description box. The painter's tape you can get at any hardware store so or drugstore or anything like that. Okay, so our first color of amazingness, Arteza's Bordeaux Red. Fabulous, fabulous color. And we're also using my other Arteza favorite, Pearl Marmalade, which we used in Prismatic, which was just the most amazing shimmery, shiny copper that you, oh, it was fantastic. Almost as good as gold and iridescent copper, almost, but just beautiful stuff. So then the last color we have is our 24 karat gold from Decor at Americana Decor Metallics. I don't buy the little two ounce extreme sheen bottles. This is the eight ounce jar. So Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics, and this is 24 karat gold. Okay, I'll show you the actual consistency. I have kept everything a little bit on the thick side because I do want to do a ring pour, and I want it to keep its shape. My paint is mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium, and the paint, and some Floetrol. So that's the Bordeaux Red. This is Arteza's Pearl Marmalade. Fantastic. It looks a little dull right now in the cup, but when it dries, man, it's just, it's amazing stuff. Okay. And there's my 24 karat. And the last thing that we have is leaving a mound on a mound. You want your metallics a little bit thicker so they don't get lost. We also have Artist Sloth Flow Acrylic in black. Leaving a mound on a mound. And I have one more cup of Flow Acrylic Black for my Flow Extender. Okay. So, let's layer our cup. I'm living dangerously. I'm not putting my gloves on yet. Wow. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to layer this the same way that I layered Dreamcatcher, but with this palette. All right. So, we're going to start with a thicker layer of black. For this size canvas, it's a 24 by 24. We need roughly 21 ounces of paint. I only want to use about 16 ounces. So, <laughs> that's it. All right, so we have our thick layer of black. We're gonna put a thick layer of our Bordeaux red. Then another thick layer of our pearl marmalade. And now just a thin layer of our gold. And we're gonna repeat that again. Thicker layer of black. Thick layer of the pearl of the Bordeaux. This is an amazing color too. Just honestly, we did genie with that. It was just so cool. Okay, a thicker layer of marmalade. And when I say thicker, I mean more. Like a instead of just one little tiny bit. Like I'm using much less gold here than I did either of the other two colors. Okay, now I'm going to put one more layer of the Bordeaux on top of that and then some black. Okay. Yay! Excited. All right, let me move these. We're gonna spin this one out. So this is a washing machine drip pan that I got off of Amazon when I first started pouring like two years ago. And HOA has taped a industrial monitor turntable on the back of it and it spins lovely which is very cool okay enough stalling all right these are 24 by 24 okay just breathe just breathe. i'm excited and like nervous <laughs> not nervous Okay, so this one is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black. I have thinned it out several times. It is just barely leaving a mound. This is my gold. Do I want to thin out the gold too? I think I do. I think I'm going to just put a little splash of gold on first. 
I don't know. Maybe we'll put some black down first and then we'll put the gold. Okay. Thin that out just a little bit. So it's not super, super thick. Okay. So, I'm going to pour a puddle of this. And then we're going to pour a little bit of gold in the center. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Sono afumado. No, that means I'm hungry. <laughs> Feed me, I'm starving. I always am. Yeah, no, no, no. Sono. Okay, you're ready. All right, here we go. Let's do a ring pour. Let me just turn that so that it starts to go that way instead. I'm just going to give that a second. Come on, Zinji. Edge chance. Muffed it. If I turn on the torch, he's going to freak out. Okay, so I torched it before I put the flow extender on it because I don't want the flow extender to set up fast. Okay, so we just wanted to pop the air bubbles in this. Nice little cells coming up. Okay, flow extender. I think I want to thin that out just a little bit more. Okay. Then now, here we go. Okay, so. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take what's left of that thick one and I'm going to thin it out and I'm just going to put it on the corners because I'm pretty confident that's going to spread out nicely and cover the canvas. But just in case it doesn't, I want to have some black to put on the corners. So I'm just going to, whoop, ew. Okay. All right, don't freak out. It's just paint. And the cool thing is my table's clean. So, yes, I'll put my gloves on. <laughs> Just take my stick, scrape it back into the cup. There's my boy. Hi, Zin Zin. <laughs> Are you going to do your scratchies? Okay. All right, so no autopsy, no fall. All right, let's put it on the corners. And I see a lump in there. Okay. Now I am going to spread that out. Hi, baby. <laughs> Yeah. 
when we did Dreamcatcher, I used my Pazalon men's comb, and I did like three or four wrecks through it. I want to do something a little bit different today. We did a piece the other day, not on camera, but I had the gold around it, and it looked really cool, and I wrecked it through there, and it left this really beautiful edge, like a nice scalloped edge, so I kind of want to play with that a little bit. All right, so here we go. That's pretty cool, because that's going to stretch out and be really, really amazing. So, do I want to do any on that side, though? I do think I want to take this and just sort of stretch this out. Before I start spinning it, because the weight of the paint seems to, a lot of it's up here, I want to move it down a little bit. Okay. So that seems more centered now. All right. He's ready to ride the tilt a whirl. <laughs> Do this. Okay, so I don't want to lose more of this. I'll shove it down that way. Something just landed in there. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's pretty cool. Move it back into the center a second. Let's torch it. Hmm. I'm getting that black and gold thing that I don't like very much. Put the 
this is really cool. These lines are beautiful. I kind of have this urge to go wreck it through the center. Like I don't like the, the middle. Right in here. Yeah. Okay, now a couple of you guys have asked me about wrecking it after you've already tilted it and usually it's not so much of a good idea because it's better to do it when there's more paint on the canvas rather than when you've already spread it out. But everything is still pretty wet here and there's still a lot of paint on here. So I'm not worried about that. I just want to fix these lines and connect it. Well, that's definitely different. Let's give it a spin again. This is throwing me off, even though I know it's going to dry really cool, and I wanted that there. This is what I really wanted right here. But this is going to be neat, too. All right, let's spin it again. You know what I could do? Oh, still have black there. I could just pour a little bit in the center. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, there's a little bit of black in there. I'm just going to put some red in. And a little bit of black. And some marmalade. I'm not liking that center. But before we do that, is there anything else that I want to change? Yeah, I'm not crazy about this right here. So I'm trying to line it up with the original. All right, we're going to pour it right in the middle, so that's okay. All right. Are you ready? So no. Now we're going to give this a spin. I've had enough of this thing. Okay, so enough spinning. I want to tilt it. <laughs> so this idea didn't quite work out as I had wanted, but I really like this and I'm really liking this. So I think we're going to just tilt this to spread it out a bit because I've missed tilting. <laughs> Where's the weight of our paint? There, we're gonna open all this up on this edge. And open up that ring a bit too. Okay, 
see the paint moving off there, that's fine. some of the weight of the paint go off that bottom corner and open up this side. This is the nice thing about tilting, you know, I can move the paint where I want it to go. <laughs> the spinning is awesome and that was that was a lot of fun and I really did enjoy it. But I might be a little bit too much of a control freak, so. But you know, it's a tool. It's another tool that you can keep in your tool bag and if the situation arises where that would be helpful then by all means use that tool I'm not loving it I don't know. I kind of want to go mix up more black and do it again. So I have some more Artist Law Flow Acrylic Black. Same colors. We're going to pour this again. So there's my black. Here's my Bordeaux. Here's the Pearl Marmalade. Here's the gold. Back to the black again. again. Pearl marmalade and gold. And then black. Okay. I'm not gonna spin it. I'll pour a puddle of black in the center. Are you ready, darling? Just refresh. Okay. Here we go. Not too bad. Okay. I don't want to comb this one anymore either. I'm kind of over that right now. <laughs> I really like the gold and the marmalade, so. Notice I'm not torching the outsides, I'm just torching the pour. So this is really pretty. Okay, good. So we're just going to tilt it. Here we go.
really like these cells and I don't want to lose them. So I'm just going to put a little bit of black over here. And that way the black is going to slide off and our cells are going to stay. I like that a lot better. Okay, so I'm not crazy about whatever that is over there, so I'm just gonna put some black on top of it. And I just dripped in it. Let's wipe my hands off. really cool. Okay, I'm going to take my I'll just follow the lines that are already there. Okay, that's really cool. I don't want to do anything else to it. I'm going to torch it one more time. thing I'm going to do is the center just a tiny bit. I'm actually going to dip my stick in the gold a little bit. And I'm going to come in here and just give it a little bit more of a swirl. <laughs> our comb wrecking didn't quite work out this time and that's okay you know it's fun I enjoy doing it but sometimes if it's not working out I'm not married to oh I have to wreck this with the comb I'm perfectly willing to pour some more paint on top of it and make something that looks really cool and this is going to be neat because there's this beautiful gradient happening over here with the gold and the pink marmalade and the red and then more gold and the black is like underneath all of that and as this settles it's gonna, the metallics are gonna start to deepen and get a little bit more sparkly and dark and it's gonna be very cool. This is a really cool corner too. So, this is cool and there's a whole bunch of red and marmalade cells coming up in this black area. I like the center, I like this part, I like that part. We're good. Okay, so, <laughs> thanks for hanging in there with me. You know, they don't always come super, super easy. And sometimes you have to work a little bit, but that's okay, that's part of the fun of it, isn't it? Thank you guys for hanging out with us. I will show you when it's dry. Have a beautiful day. Okay. <laughs> so this one. 
<laughs> was the red, the Bordeaux red and the marmalade. Look at this part, you guys. Just look right there, it's amazing. This, this stuff over here. You see the gold and that beautiful gradient, and then we get the marmalade and those beautiful gold cells. Mm, pretty, pretty. Gorgeous lines. Some nice ghost flames for HOA. We have Ming Ming over there rolling around trying to be cute. Yes, you're very cute, Mingy. <laughs> She's a little distracting, sorry. So, I'm going to call this one Charm. Because the third time's a charm, apparently. <laughs> this one fought a lot. Oh, look at that marmalade. It's so pretty. It's still a tiny bit wet in the center. But I really like the center a lot. And I love this section up here with the black. With those beautiful gold cells and the red cells. And there's marmalade cells. It's just so cute. So pretty. Kind of like a rose gold color with the marmalade and the red combined. Very pretty. You got the sun glaring on it. It's very blingy. Beautiful, beautiful lines. This part, I just love this part. It's so cool. So this is really neat. HOA says it looks like California. <laughs> but third time's a charm for sure on this one. So I, you know, the spinning was cool. It just, I'm, I guess I like to tilt and it wasn't doing what I wanted when it was so, I apologize for my little grown up temper tantrum. <laughs> Thank you all for indulging me and bearing with us and, you know, hanging out to the end. But you know, not all of them come easy. Some of them you have to really work for it and use the tools that you have and that you know you can use and, and make it work for you and make it work how you want it. So. This one's really cool, and I love these colors. I'm very happy with how this one came out. So, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I have not put any varnish on this one yet, obviously, because it's still kind of wet. But you can see the shimmer and the shine and that sheen on it. And that's the Liquitex gloss medium that we use as our pouring medium with the Floetrol and the paint. So, I have not put any additional varnish on this. This is just how it dries which is pretty cool stuff. So, thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We'll see you for the next one. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye-bye.